Hi guys, this is Anil with a video tutorial for the learning lad on C programming. So in this video tutorial, we're gonna see the get as function in C. So this get as function is used to receive a string value from the keyboard. So first, we're gonna see how we can use this function in our program. The get as function is used to receive the string value. That's why we're gonna store that uh, string value in our character array. That's why we're gonna create uh, char. Let's call it name and let me define the size of around 20 so now we can use this get as function so the syntax of this get as function is get as and uh, you have to specify where you want to store the received string so here in this case we want to store it in the variable or the character at the name that's why we're going to specify the name here then uh, if any error occurs while receiving the input then this get as function is going to return a null value so now we're gonna use this getAs function to receive the name get as and where we want to store that received input it's gonna be stored we want it to be stored in the name array that's why name so now this character array name contains the string value received from the keyboard the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna print it out it's gonna be a printf statement and we're gonna use percentage s and we need to specify the character array that is name so I'm gonna save it compile it and run it so I need to enter my name now I'm gonna enter Anil hit enter it says Anil the next thing is why we have to use this get as function when there is scanf function that's because you know when you use a scanf function if you are uh, input string is gonna contain any space or a tab in it then you know the scanf function treats that as two variables so for the demonstration purpose I'm gonna use a uh, uh, scanf function here and I'm gonna comment it out here I'm gonna write uh, scanf and we are receiving a string value that's gonna be percentage s and I have to write name here so I'm gonna save compile and run it so now if I enter anil no problem it executes as expected I'm gonna run it again and now I'm gonna enter anil space city so I'm gonna hit enter as you can see this kind of function received only anil that's because when we enter a space or a tab with a string value the scanf function treats it as you know multiple values or here the scanf function thinks okay anil is one value and shetty is another value it just reads anil and it stores in this character array name so if you want to receive the entire string or anil shetty as we as we entered previously uh, you have to use this get as function so so i'm gonna comment out scanf function save it compile it and run it so now I'm gonna enter anil shetty hit enter as you can see you know this get as function read the full string that's because this get as function is gonna read the string until it encounters a new line so after this anil shetty we have a new line that's why it just stop reading the string there another thing is if you enter a long string then this get as function is gonna continuously read the string until it encounters the new line if you have defined the character array with less size and you are entering more values or more character here then it's gonna overflow or uh, it's gonna write outside that character array so just remember that so this is it this is about the get as function and why we have to use it so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next tutorial